What's hiding underneath things can be scary. Underwater, under your bed, especially what's under your carpet. Except when you get new carpet from Carpet One Floor and Home. After tearing up your old carpet, they'll vacuum and apply Healthinex antimicrobial to your subfloor, disinfecting and killing mold, mildew, and any remaining general awfulness. Carpet One Floor and Home goes the extra mile to protect you, your family, and your home. Carpet One Floor and Home in Columbia, making your home beautiful, guaranteed. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Tuesday, October the 15th. I want to introduce you to Bob Dirks. Did I pronounce that right? The yes, German sir. way? Yes. Bob Dirks. And that name, that last name means farmer? In, in Dutch, yes, sir. In German? In, in Dutch, yes. In Dutch. Okay. Well, good to have you with farmer. <laughs> <laughs> so you're here today representing the Central Missouri Renaissance Festival, which yes, is sir. when? The October 19th and 20th. So what happens at the Renaissance Festival? We have five stages of entertainment. We've got two demonstration fields. I've got a live steel act out there. Which a means live what? Steel. That means these guys are using real swords, and uh, they are bladed. They are, they are sharpened, which means they can hurt each other. It's, it's choreographed, but it, it looks fun. It's great. Okay, so you've got uh, swords. You've got yeah. what else? Uh, I've got like a Highland Games where we're going to toss things and a tug of war. Uh-huh. And I've got bands all over the place. There's always something going on. So what kind of what kind of music? Uh, everything from traditional Celtic music that you'd find that you expect at a Ren Fair up to more modern uh, what they call nerdcore. Uh, these guys sing songs about all sorts of role playing and video games and all sorts. And that's of called pop- nerdcore. Yeah. Okay, and that fits in a Renaissance festival. You betcha. You've got on a. Uh, a Scottish Celt. Is a that, kilt, yes, sir. A kilt. Okay. You are part, your mother is part Scottish, is that right? Or is she? No, my mother is full Scottish. Uh, hi, Mom. Uh, my mom was born in Dundee, Scotland. Okay, and she lives now in Rigby, Idaho. She sure does. The home of the invention of the television. Yes, sir. And, Mom, you want to say hi to her? Let's hi. See. Hi, Mom. It's good to hear you. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she's correcting you right now about yes. one thing or another. But the Renaissance Festival is coming up when? It's going to be October 19th and 20th. We're 10 to 6, rain or shine. Uh, there's a lot of things going on, but really, you got me. What more do you need? Yeah, really. What are you going to be doing? Uh, well, I am a I am part of the not for profit board that puts it on. Mm-hmm. I have the match game fifty fifty AD where we come up and uh, we have a show and try to get people from the audience to match our panelists. Uh-huh. Uh, and then my wife and I operate a a booth out there. Okay, so this is going to be at forty two seventy four County Road two twenty. Is that right? Yes, sir. In Kingdom City. Yes, sir. That will be October the 19th and the 20th, the Central Missouri Renaissance Festival. What time? 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. That's a Saturday and a Sunday. That is Saturday and Sunday, rain or shine. And everybody, you guarantee everyone will have a wonderful time. Absolutely. It's going to be marvelous. What about food? We have all sorts of food. It's our Oktoberfest, so we're going to have brats out there. Yeah. Uh, turkey legs, everything you could hope for. Bratwurst, turkey legs, uh, a good, uh, good food. Walking tacos for the kiddos. What? It's a bag of potato chips that you rip open and you put cheese and meat on. And it's called walking ta- tacos. Yep. <laughs> I've never heard of that. But now you got to come out and see us to experience it. <laughs> All right, that'll it. be at the Renaissance Festival. So thank you so much for coming by, and I'll give the website if people want more information for this. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Say hi to mom one more time. And hey, mom, good to hear you. Rigby, I, well, you can't hear her. She's hearing you <laughs> <laughs> in Idaho. Thank That's you right. so much. Thank you. So Paul. again, if you want more information, uh, let me read this website to you. It's www.central mo renfest.org and that'll give you all the information and you'll have a good time if you go out there okay now we're going to talk about something a, a, a little more serious here and it's an out of the darkness walk and i want to introduce you to beth hendren welcome thank you for welcome having to me radio friends beth 
let's talk about the Out of the Darkness Walk. What is this? So this is an event that American Foundation for Suicide Prevention puts on all over the country or all over the United States. Uh, we have over 400 of them. This is Columbia's fifth one. We're hoping it's going to be a huge turnout. Uh, we're hoping to have about 1,000 participants. And this brings the community together to talk about suicide prevention, to let people know that they're not alone, and just to have a really good time while raising funds for suicide prevention. Right. Let's talk about suicide prevention. Mm -hmm. Some of the warning signs that somebody may be contemplating taking their own mm -hmm. life. Uh, so there's there's a lot of different ones, but if someone suddenly changes the way they are, whether they're always joking and suddenly aren't, or whether they're sad and suddenly joking a lot. So you're saying if a person is depressed a lot and then all at once they turn happy, mm -hmm. that that's a sign? That is a sign. A change of their personality, a, an opposite turn of their personality. Absolutely. What else? Um, and so if they start giving away their um, effects and they start making plans, um, starting making final statements such as I'll see you I, or goodbye or something to that effect, those are all very significant signs. So if you are picking up signs like this with someone that you love or someone that you know or a coworker, how do you intervene? So everyone is afraid to ask the question, are you thinking about hurting yourself? That is what you need to do. So you, if, if, if you know someone mm -hmm. and you think they may be contemplating suicide, you just come right out absolutely. and you ask. Absolutely. That, are you thinking about hurting yourself? Are you thinking about killing yourself? Yes, absolutely. That gives the person permission to talk and have that conversation. Otherwise, they don't feel like they can. And so if you open that door open, they'll 99% th of the time they'll talk to you. I can't tell you how many different conversations I've had with not only friends, but sh complete strangers. So you have you have seen this yes. trait in people. Absolutely. And you've just gone up to them yes. and you said, are you thinking about yes. killing yourself? Yes. Several times. And what's the first thing they say? Um, they're kind of taken back because that's not what you've been taught. That's not what the normal social is. Um, and then they start talking. And you've done this to people that you don't even know? Yes. Well, how did you pick up a sign from someone that you don't even know? Facebook. I mean, you, you see people saying, I don't want to wake up. I just don't know how to do anything. The, the, you see signs, little subtle signs that they, it's almost like they're giving up. And so I send them a message and I said, I'm like, hey, would you like to talk? It sounds like you're not doing okay. Are you thinking of hurting yourself? And I've never not had anyone answer that question. Okay. When is when is the out of darkness? October walk? 20th, Sunday. October 20th, Sunday. That's a, that's the same day of that Renaissance it is. festival. It is. <laughs> but you guys are all working together yeah. on this. So it will be where? It'll be at Stevens Park. Okay. So the out of the darkness walk at Stevens Park. Sunday, October 20th, what time? Registration is from 11 to 1, and the opening ceremony is at 1.30. And then the walk? Is, is going to be right after the opening ceremony. All right. And how much money are you hoping that you'll raise? I'm hoping $50,000. Okay. But the important thing is you, you, to, to bring this all out in the open and talk about exactly. it. Exactly. And bring community together. All right. Thank you very much, Beth Hendren. Thank you. And I do hope you raise more than $50,000. As do I. <laughs> Mark it on your calendar October 20th at Stevens Park. Stevens Park for the Out of the Darkness Walk. We're out of time. We'll see you tomorrow.